I had a wonderful full day of productive discussions on how to create a new industrial value chain in India's Northeast. As you know, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, he presented the vision of free and open Indo-Pacific. Prime Minister Kishida is taking this vision one step up, and he is proposing to create an industrial value chain in India's Northeast and Bangladesh in this wide area of Bay of Bengal. And today I emphasize to harness the Matabari deep sea port, which will be open in three years time. And JICA is building so many roads and bridges so that connectivity will be developed. So why are you waiting for the time to think about new investment now into India's Northeast? Uh, as the name suggests, this is the fourth India-Japan intellectual conclave. Uh, the, and this builds on the very substantive discussions which were held in Agartala at which we discussed connectivity and the potential of connectivity between India, Bangladesh and uh, you know with Japan's assistance and the huge potential that the Matarbadi deep sea port has for the overall industrialization and uh, you know supply chain linkages in the northeastern region with Bangladesh. Uh, today's discussions have been very substantive, many new suggestions have been made and the best part was that a very heavy business delegation was here, a large number of them having travelled all the way from Bangladesh to um, uh, Shillong to participate in this event. So the two parallel, two, two basic pillars which were discussed, one was the uh, you know building on uh, what we've already discussed earlier, uh, the opportunities, economic opportunities and one was on uh, the people to people connect. So it has been a very productive day for all of us. Thank you. Right, yeah, you know, uh, the, as I participated last year's version at Agaltala, uh, this time I, I felt, you know, increasing enthusiasm about, uh, you know, uh, connecting in the region uh, together between India and Bangladesh or Northeast and Bangladesh uh, towards, you know, Bay of Bengal. Uh, and uh, very uh, exciting and uh, stimulating in you know, the discussion presentations were there uh, that, you know, uh, inspired, you know, um, the stakeholders, including, you know, JICA. Uh, we've now we, I feel in you know, a much more encouraged, you know, full of energy to go ahead with uh, our ongoing project and uh, take on, you know, next step, next uh, initiative to uh, really, you know, unite, you know, this uh, the whole uh, region uh, together. Thank you very much. Thank you. So this is the fourth conclave. Uh, we had the first two in online, and this is the sec uh, second one in the physical format. And what it has done over the last four years is actually gather all or most of the stakeholders who are working on uh, India-Japan collaboration in this region uh, along with our neighborhood such as Bangladesh and Bhutan and Nepal in this BBI and region to come together and this conclave I think has been uh, marked by the very very enthusiastic response from the business community both from India and from uh, Bangladesh. So it's a very, very promising uh, set of inputs that was given. So I think that's been a very, very exciting uh, success for this conference. Yeah, it was a good opportunity for me to attend this uh, venue. Uh, I mm, more understood uh, about uh, Northeast and uh, Bangladesh uh, relationship. And uh, I'd like to expand uh, more and more TITP and SSW to Japan in the near future. Uh, I think this is a fourth time, uh, so having this conclave. And uh, this time uh, the, we have a session on uh, the people to people exchanges. And uh, the reason why we put this item into the agenda is that uh, uh, it is not uh, the when we think of uh, industrial value chains, it's not only about uh, roads and bridges and ports. Uh, it is also people that underpins uh, industrial value chains. 
in, when you do business, I think it is always important who you are and who are working with, what they are doing, those kind of things. And、uh, so we discussed、uh, what kind of、uh, schemes we can use to send and promote people to people exchanges,、uh, including TITP, SSW, and Japanese language education. And so and we,、uh, we are very glad. To hear and see that、uh, many Japanese companies and、uh, airlines and、uh, sending organizations、uh, actively participated and shared、uh, their perspectives how to promote people to people exchanges. And、uh, I think we will have another one sometime soon and uh, we will uh, uh, work more closely with、uh, the Indian government as well as the state government and of course. With private companies. Yeah, <coughs> that, that is、uh, very much valuable, the conference.、Uh, and it is the first time for me to attend this conference. Uh, 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 the discussion about the tribal cooperation and the,、uh, the strengthening of the, the uh, uh, three regions,、uh, the connectivity, is uh, the very much uh, uh, the not new things.、Uh, the Japanese government also、uh, committed it officially with、uh, the uh, Indian government. Uh, in the frame of、uh, the Act East program and uh, uh, so uh, the、uh, regional development of、uh, the Northeast.、Uh, already get a consensus with, between、uh, the former Prime Minister、uh, Shinzo Abe and Modi. So、uh, we are very, very much very happy to continuously discuss about、uh, the, well, how to the, realize、uh, on the ground. Any, anything about the Sasakawa Foundation? Yeah, we are、uh, the more focusing on the. Please,、uh, please, people please people. say this that uh, uh, for the Sasakawa Foundation has actively participated. Yeah, <coughs> Sasakawa Peace Foundation is a, a, a positive thing to participate in this、uh, framework. And uh, uh, the main focus is、uh, the people to people communication, com- connection. And uh, uh, so uh, we. Uh, 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 The thing we, have, we want to take the,、uh, from uh, the uh, Northeast、uh, India point of view. So, the,、uh, how much、uh, the、uh, food for the benefit can get uh, the, the <coughs> uh, for or the Northeast side, Northeast India side. So,、uh, we are、uh, more focusing on the、uh, higher level、uh, of the communication last, month, last year. That we invited the political leaders of,、uh, from the Northeast India. And uh, <coughs> the, uh, such a、uh, occasion is uh, very much uh, the, uh, crucial,、uh, the very much important for the uh, further uh, collaboration and also the getting、uh, the strong commitment of、uh, the both sides.、Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.、Oh, this is an extremely good conference. There are stakeholders from all the parts. And they have given wonderful deliberations, and it clearly shows the next pathway. And that is that the connectivity that should happen through Northeast for Bangladesh, and that will help both India and Japan to grow their business. Some of the special areas that I realized could be of greater importance as far as business is concerned will be food processing industry,、uh, silk, sericulture. Other than that, clean energy, natural rubber, these are the very specific examples where businesses can grow further between India and Japan through Bangladesh. And this particular conclave has paved the road for the same. Thank you. So this is the fourth、uh, India Japan intellectual conclave. Uh, uh, we have We have、uh, had a number of ideas discussed in the previous three editions. Today was、uh, the next logical step.、Uh, we had an opportunity to discuss、uh, many ideas for collaboration、uh, between India and Japan, along with、uh, Bangladesh, Nepal, Bhutan, and others in the region.、Uh, the main, main theme was to enhance connectivity in various dimensions. I had an opportunity to、uh, talk about、uh, physical connectivity, transport connectivity, economic. And financial connectivity, digital data connectivity, people to people connectivity, and also security connectivity in a way that、uh, marries our security requirements with those of our, neighbor,、uh, our neighboring countries, and therefore find ways to work together for border management, etc.、Uh, there are a number of projects、uh, that we undertake、uh, 
on our own and in collaboration with Japan uh, in our neighborhood, try to restore historical connectivities that existed uh, between India and the Northeast through uh, what is today Bangladesh and uh, finding ways to revive those connectivities, taking advantage of new opportunities of uh, power line linkages that are developing between India and Bangladesh, opportunities for transit uh, through India for Nepal and Bhutan uh, to access uh, Bangladeshi ports and for the Northeast to take advantage of road connectivity and rail connectivity improving in Bangladesh. How we are talking about uh, putting together payment systems in India and Bangladesh uh, in various ways to create uh, economic corridors of prosperity in the region. How we want all this to help the Northeast become a bridgehead uh, for India's greater connectivity with growth engines in Southeast Asia. Uh, once the situation in uh, Myanmar improves, we expect that our uh, strategic projects, the uh, east-west highway that uh, is currently uh, linking India, Myanmar and Thailand uh, will get completed. We also have the Kaladan multimodal project. I expect that that will also uh, enhance our connectivity with Myanmar and indeed the rest of Southeast Asia. Broadly, uh, Japan is a very natural partner for us uh, to work on development projects in the broader Indo-Pacific region and we want to try and explore all that is there uh, in terms of possibilities for working with Japan and to involve our neighbors uh, and other partners in the Indo-Pacific. So this time I think what was different about this conference was that there was singularity of thought. Everybody was thinking on a linear manner. Uh, the delegates coming from Bangladesh, delegates from Japan or the Japanese side and from the Indian side, they were all talking the same language. Yes, we were highlighting problems, but this time I saw a difference. We were not highlighting problems to create an obstacle. We were highlighting problems where we wanted to solve them. I think that's my takeaway from this one, that this one has been far more successful than any other one. Convergence of minds.